If you're a content creator, this new feature is a game changer, although it already kind of existed in previous versions of Resolve. So what am I talking about? Uploading directly to YouTube. Not only uploading, but giving your video a proper title, a proper description, and even add chapters. So first things first, if you want to use that feature, you have to sign into your YouTube account using DaVinci Resolve. And you can do that in the top left of your screen, where it says DaVinci Resolve, click on that, then select preferences. And in the system tab, make sure to go down on the left to where it says internet accounts. And then you see YouTube sign in to publish directly to YouTube, and then hit the sign in button. So once you've done that, you will be redirected to this side where you have to sign in to your YouTube account using your mail address and your password. You will get to this side where you have to make sure to check on this box. Otherwise, you will get the notification upload failed. So make sure to check that on and then click on continue. And if everything worked perfectly, you will be redirected to the venture result telling you that you're currently signed in as whatever email address that you're using. And then we want to hit save. And right now we can jump into the delivery tab. And the good thing about that feature is that we can use our custom export settings and dial everything in from format to codec to resolution, quality, whatever. And if you scroll down a little bit, you will see the YouTube settings. And I'm not going to cover any of those export settings um, because I already made a dedicated video to that a while back, which is still up to date today. But if you want to watch that, I will leave a link to that in the top right corner of your screen right now. But for now, let's talk about the YouTube settings. There is not much, but we have the checkbox to upload directly to YouTube. And if you check that, DaVinci Resolve will render the video and then start immediately uploading after the video is rendered. Then we have the option to type in a title. And if you want to do so, you can type in the final title of your video. You can put any description that you want into this. You can select chapters from markers, which we will get to in a second. We can then use the visibility private, public or unlisted. And we can change the category from film and animation to whatever the heck you want. If you leave that title empty, DaVinci Resolve will just take this title that you assigned at the top for your YouTube video. Let's talk about the chapters because that's a great feature, which will save you a ton of time if you're using chapters on your channel. So right now, let's just go quickly back to the edit page. And let's say this part right here is my intro. So I'm going to hit M on my keyboard to create a marker. And then this part right here is my outro. So I'm going to hit M and create another marker. So then I'm going to go back to my delivery tab. We'll make sure to check on chapters for markers. Right now, this is pretty important. If you have multiple markers on your timeline, assign a dedicated color to your markers. Because um, if you've like markers for here's the beat of the music and here I want to implement some text and this is a chapter and this should be a YouTube chapter. DaVinci Resolve will create chapters for all of the markers that you have there. So make sure to use one color for chapters and only use that color for chapters. For me, I just leave it at blue. It's the default and that is perfect. File name is set and we can create a title. Let's just go with this is awesome and then a description whatever the heck you want then we want to hit add to render queue and then render all and the video now will be rendered and once the rendering process is done davinci resolve will immediately start uploading that video to youtube so right now if you want to monitor your upload you can go to workspace and select background activity. Unfortunately, my upload is already completed, but otherwise you would see your uploads listed right here. But the good thing about that is even if DaVinci Resolve is still uploading, you can continue working on that project or open up a new project to keep on working on that without affecting your upload. So that's a great feature. And now if you want to check if everything went right, you can then right click and reveal in browser YouTube. There is the video we even made a typo. This is awesome. Uh, we have my description that I typed in and we have both our markers and this is just overall it's such a nice feature. We can now use our custom settings and dial everything in like perfectly 
because previously you would have to use a YouTube preset and you wouldn't have much customizability using that. So right now, if you wanna use our custom export settings, we can dial everything in like perfectly and then just do this one time, then go up to render settings, custom export, hit the three dots and then save as new preset and then save this preset as 4K YouTube or whatever you want, hit okay and right now, to the left of custom export, you got your dialed in 4K YouTube export, which you just have to select, hit add to render queue and you're done. So that's a wrap, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If so, please let me know in the comments down below what your new favorite feature of the Ventures of 18 is and if you've already upgraded or you're still waiting. With that being said, hope you all have a great day. See you in the next one, bye.